Hey folks, it's uh, Thursday, July 24th, about 8 o'clock Mountain Time, 2014. I got some interesting breaking news that um, I can't wait to share with you guys. For those of you that have been hanging out with me for the last couple of years, do you remember back in 2012 when I was putting up these videos about these lights I was seeing in the eastern sky um, near Hydra, Sexton's? Uh, just below Leo, um, I saw these things in the same location on different nights, 90, almost 90 different times. I did hours and hours of research on these things because um, they were truly something unique that I had never seen anything even remotely close to. Um, I come to the conclusion that it had to have been a neutron star. Well, lo and behold, NASA has released that Fermi finds a pulsar neutron star. Guess where? Exactly where I was telling you guys. Near Hydra, close to Sexton's. Just as I was pointing out in the videos that I was, and you can watch the videos, I'll post all the links. Some of you did. You remember me saying right there by Sexton's, there is a neutron star there. June of 2013, NASA found it. So I don't know if they used my videos as maybe a map to see this thing because it is kind of uncommon for a man to spot something like this and be able to predict night after night what time it was going to appear, how long it would last, and that's what I did during its visuals when I first saw it in March of uh, 2012, and then I saw it again in October of 2012. Here's the first time I saw it, March 2012, and then it just kept on. Uh, I think I saw it again possibly in April, um, October 2012, February 2013, February 2013. I saw this thing many times, and it was predictable once I knew where to look. And that was right in here, closer to Sexton's, exactly where they're saying it is. And here's a quick video. We'll just watch this real quick. About 4,400 light years away in the constellation Sextans, there's an extraordinary binary system that pairs a rapidly spinning neutron star, or pulsar, with a star about one fifth the mass exactly of the sun. Where I was seeing this Thanks guy. to its rapid rotation and intense magnetic field, the pulsar produces a strong radio signal, which is how astronomers first discovered it. Many similar binary. Well, I'm gonna let you watch the rest of the video if you like. It's uh, pretty interesting. Um, I will go on to say. Um, I did hours and hours of research trying to figure out exactly what I was seeing in the sky. Um, and I did conclude that um, it had to be a neutron star. It had to be. Just by its behavior, it was predictability. Once I knew where to look near Sexton's, it was predictable. Three and a half minutes, boom, you'd see a burst. The only thing I disagree with is the colors that the artist renditions have. Um, and this is on NASA's website, which I'll post a link. Um, I did see the blue, absolutely, with a whitish center. This cloud-like thing, they call it, uh, there's a name for it, a Magellan cloud or something like that, was more on the red side, but it looked exactly like that, and it would just burst for a microsecond. But if you knew where to look, you could see it, and it would rotate. Maybe sometimes you'd see the blue one once, the red one twice in the three-and-a-half-minute sequence. And um, once Earth moved, because Earth moves, what, a million point two miles a day, um, it was only visible for about 40 minutes, never any longer than that. But on three and a half minute cycles, you would see this thing. And it was truly fascinating. Also, during that time, um, there was an uh, oddity with the magnetosphere. And there was a video done by suspicious observers who got in contact with me. He... Um, uh, was one of the few people I could tell he believed me I was not making it up and he knew it and he's like if you are in fact seeing uh, a neutron star that is putting off cosmic ray bursts which he's smart enough to associate the two that's the strongest light source in the known universe that 
could potentially reverse the magnetopause, which they're saying, oh, it's just bad data, but I'm not so sure of that, especially now that they have confirmed there is a neutron star exactly in the position that I saw what appeared to be a neutron star over 90 different, 90 different times in the same area with the naked eye guys. And what's interesting, if I can see it with the naked eye and I knew where to look and literally that quick, but I could detect color and shape that quick because I knew where to look. Is it really that far away? I'm not so sure. But um, anyway, I'm going to post the links to these videos, but um, a neutron star in uh, June of 2013 has been discovered uh, by NASA. They are coming out and saying there is one out there. Um, and we saw one almost 90 different times. Uh, started in March of 2012. I saw it multiple times in 2012, multiple times in 2013, and I have not seen it um, since 2013. Um, but anyway, it's very real. It's there. I did contact, like I said, multiple universities, professors, astronomy clubs, and um, the only person that really showed any interest was suspicious observers. And he was right. I, 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 I was not making it up. And that is there. I'm not so sure it's 4,400 light years away, but interesting information, guys. Um, and we got a neutron star in our backyard. But the only difference is it's red and blue, not orange and blue. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I found that truly interesting, and I have never heard of such. Um, I didn't know it was even possible to see one of these things with the naked eye, but I did. I promise you. I promise you, that's what I saw, and it is there. So I'm going to be looking for it again, probably in October of this year. Uh, right now, Hydra is up in Sexton's uh, during the daytime. So by October, maybe we'll see it again, uh, possibly in the early morning hours, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. But just sharing, guys, I found that truly interesting. There is, in fact, a neutron star there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.